Dynamic sources represent any information that changes from post to post. This includes standard WordPress fields like the post title and publish date, custom fields, and taxonomies. You can use dynamic sources to create your single post templates, custom list of posts, and archive pages. Besides using Toolset, WordPress, and third party blocks, you can display dynamic sources in line with any other text you have. Let me show you. Here's my template for displaying a single real estate property. I want to add a price just over the property's title. This price will come from a custom field I have for my property posts. I'll insert the WordPress core heading block and make it an H3. Now look here, thanks to Toolset, the core heading block has an additional inline field button. You will find this button on all blocks that provide text input. I click the button, select my custom field, and voila, the price value is displayed. But wait, now it's just a number. The reason I chose to display this field inline is so that I can add my own custom label to it. To do this, I simply type in whatever I want before or after the field. It's that easy. OK, now let's try using more than one inline field together. Here's my list of posts. I want to display the publish date and post author. No problem, let's use the default WordPress paragraph block. I type in the first part, then click to insert the standard WordPress field for post date. Cool, but it's not using the date format I want. So I just click on the date and I can select any format I want. I'll go with the second option. Nice. OK, I type in the word buy and click to insert the author's first name field. And then the author's last name. That's it. Looks pretty good. However, what if I need to adjust some styling, like changing the font type or controlling the margins and paddings for my text? The core paragraph block allows us only to change the colors. No problem, we can use another cool toolset feature, the paragraph option in heading blocks. Let's remove what we just created and this time insert the toolset heading block. We don't want this to be an actual heading tag, so we can just click on the paragraph icon here or in the right sidebar. Now, we can use the heading block in the same way as the paragraph. Let's quickly add exactly the same text and fields. OK, that looks the same. However, because we're using the toolset block, we have much finer control over styling. Finally, another example of using toolset inline fields is inside buttons. Here's a page with a view listing all tour posts on a traveling site. I want to add a button that will link to the post but to have a dynamic text. I insert the WordPress core button block and type in my static text, more about. And then again, I click the inline field button, select my custom field that holds a shortened version of the post title and that's it. It just works. If at any time you need to select some other field, just click on it and the selector drop-downs will appear.